hey guys and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to talk about advanced presentation skills in which it is a continuation of the advanced productivity tool skills in empowerment technologies so in today's video we are going to talk about what a presentation software is what powerpoint is how we can create an effective powerpoint presentation as well as an advanced feature called hyperlinking but before that do not forget to please like and share this video as well as comment down below if you have any comments and suggestions that you want to tell me also do not forget to please subscribe to this channel as well as click the notification bell down below so you are updated when our next videos comes out so without further ado let's get started first let us talk about presentation software basically a presentation software is a computer software package used to show information normally in a form of a slideshow it mostly includes major three functions which are an editor that allows text to be inserted and formatted a method for inserting and manipulating graphic images and a slideshow system to display the content an example of a presentation software that we are going to talk about today is microsoft powerpoint so what is microsoft powerpoint basically Microsoft PowerPoint is created by Microsoft for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, and it is the most popular presentation software out there today. Basically, Microsoft PowerPoint is an easy program to use and a powerful tool for giving a presentation, whether be it that you are in need of a visual kick, a tool for collaboration, easy access, or the ability to share information beyond the initial meeting. Well, PowerPoint is a good option. It can even help reduce speaking anxiety by drawing eyes away from the speaker and towards a screen. But of course, let us not expect this technology to be a substitute for sound and dynamic speaking skills. So PowerPoint presentations are being used all around the globe today, whether be it in a classroom setting, in a business meeting, or a simple lecture with your colleagues and friends. PowerPoint presentations are being used as visual aids or as outlines when conducting a talk or a presentation. Now, let us talk about how we can create effective PowerPoint presentation. I actually have six tips that you can use when creating your PowerPoints to make it as effective as possible. The first one, minimize. When creating our PowerPoint presentations, we must create it as concise as possible. The less slides, the better. Let us keep in mind that PowerPoint presentations are only visual aids and should not contain all the information that we are about to say to our speakers. PowerPoint presentations should just be a guideline or a supporting visual aid for the speaker. Next up, we have clarity. When creating our PowerPoint presentations, we must avoid those fancy fonts. We must always prioritize readability instead of style we must also consider how big our texts and our graphics are depending on the screen size that we are going to use when conducting our presentation another one is simplicity when creating our powerpoint presentations all the information that we want to convey must be summarized Remember that when you are putting text in a PowerPoint presentation, you must follow the 6-7 rule. So what is the 6-7 rule? Basically, it says that in a singular slide, there must only be 6 lines of text. And per line of text, there only must be 7 words. So that the PowerPoint presentation looks much cleaner and much readable. And our viewers do not experience eye strain from trying to read all the text in our PowerPoint presentation. Also, when there are a lot of things going around your PowerPoint presentation, it draws the attention away from the speaker to the PowerPoint presentation itself, which is not actually a good thing to happen. Number four is visual. In creating our PowerPoint presentations, we can also use pictures, videos and other graphics so that we can get the attention of our audiences 
but we must all use those graphics sparingly because we do not want to actually put too much attention on the PowerPoint itself. We want our audience to still focus on the talk that we are actually doing rather than the PowerPoint presentation. Next, we have consistency. Design must be uniform. We want our PowerPoint presentations to be coherent. And one way of doing that is by having consistency in the design that we are actually using. Everything from the font to the color scheme to the graphics to the art style that we are using must be consistent all throughout the presentation so that our audiences do not get confused and distracted by those other designs that we use. And last but not the least, of course, we have contrast. When we say contrast, when putting text and graphics in our PowerPoint presentations, we must always take note that when we are putting text and other graphics in our PowerPoint presentations, we actually need to make them contrast one another. For example, we used a dark background in this slide that you are seeing right now. Of course, when we place text in this slide, we use light colors such as white and cyan if we are to put other graphics such as pictures and shapes we are to use graphics that have a lighter color so that they become visible regardless of what dark background we use and those are the tips that i can give you for creating an effective powerpoint presentation now let us go ahead and continue to the next part of this discussion which is the advanced skill in PowerPoint presentation. And we call this hyperlinking. So what are hyperlinks? Basically, hyperlinks make a presentation non-linear by connecting it with other slides, documents, and web pages. We can actually link our slides or objects in our slides to other slides as well as web pages or documents so that it makes it more interactive non-linear so there are different objects in microsoft powerpoint that we can put a hyperlink into there are actually six the first one being a text box a text in a text box the shapes that are actually present inside microsoft powerpoint text inside the shape smart arts and all the pictures or graphics that we are going to be using to give you a quick demonstration of how we can create hyperlinks i will close down the presenter view and show you how i create hyperlinks so as i've mentioned a while ago when creating hyperlinks or links we can actually use it in various objects in powerpoint presentation so for this example i will be using the text inside the circles that you see in this slide so let's say for example i want to use the number six inside this circle now all i need to do is highlight that number or that text and then go to insert and let us find link so it, it will be right here or we can also press ctrl k to be able to go to the add hyperlink pop-up window so in this case i will just click link and then a pop-up window will show up now when inserting hyperlinks we can actually choose from a couple of options first one we can go into a web page a place in this document in which we are going to choose from all of the slides that we have we can create a new document or we can go to an email address now in this case i just want to link this text into a place in this document so i will just click on place in this document now i would be needing to choose where i want my presentation to go when i click on that text so in this case i want it to go on slide number nine i just click on slide nine and just and then just press ok now as you have noticed the number six ha now turned blue and has an underline below it this means that a hyperlink has actually been created 
So let us check if the hyperlink has been created. I'll just open the slideshow. And when I click this one, it will actually go to slide number six. So that is it for this video. And I hope you have learned something today in our discussion. Again, I would like to invite everyone to please like and share this video with all your friends or your colleagues so that they have an idea on how they can create their own PowerPoint presentations and put hyperlinks in them. As well as comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions, or anything that you want to tell me regarding my lessons. Also, do not forget to please subscribe to this channel as well as click the notification bell down below for you to be updated in our future videos. So that will be all for today. Thank you very much and goodbye.